Here's the inspiration for this lighted gift box DIY. I've seen these boxes in the past few years. I thought that they were overpriced and never purchased one. So this year I decided to DIY a couple. Okay, so let's get started. In this one, we are going to be using these Dollar Tree cooling racks. Now initially I was gonna build my box using some dowels. Luckily, I ran across this channel, and it's called Rebecca Stew and the Crew, I believe. I'll link it below. So yeah, I came across her channel, and I saw that she used these cooling racks from Dollar Tree. And I was like, wow, that's so smart. But yeah, um, I see that she used these, and um, she actually made two different sizes. I'm only going to do one size, but yeah, props to her for this idea. I think it's brilliant. So what I'm going to do is... Go ahead and cut these tags off. Now you can make your box into a rectangular or a square box. As for me, my box will be square. So to get started, I'm going to fold both racks in the middle. Just like that. And now I'll do the second one the same way. And I'm making sure that these little metal pieces are on the inside of the box. So I know this right here kind of wants to break. And I'm going to straighten it out as best as I can with a pair of pliers. And it's doing it on this piece as well, right there. Okay. So on this, let's check our box. Okay, this needs to come out a little bit more. So now I'm going to take this floral wire from Dollar Tree and use it to connect my two racks together. And use your pliers to close it so you don't stick yourself. So now I'm going to come on this side and close it up as well. So now I'm going to flip it over and do the same thing on these two sides and then come back. Okay, I'm done adding the wire. I wired in the middle on both sides as well. So now I want to add wire to the top. And the reason I'm doing that is because I want lights to be in the center of my box as well. I know the light boxes, like I showed at the beginning of the video, they use just regular Christmas lights and just wrapped around the outside of the box. But with my particular box, I want lights to be somewhat in the center of the box as well. So I'm going to add some wire across both ways. And I figure I just go here in the center. So, like I said before, you can use regular Christmas lights. I'll use a small set, maybe a set of 50 or two sets of 20s or something like that. I'm going to use string lights and I'm going to use two sets. Turn the lights on, it seems to help. So, I want to try and figure out which side I want to be the back. And what I'm going to do is right here. All right. So now I'm going to pull it straight up. So I'm going to go here to the corner, wrap it 
Then go here to the corner. Again, this is the back. So now I'm done adding the lights to my box. So I'm going to go ahead and turn them off. The next thing I'm going to do is wrap my box. Now, you can use this from Dollar Tree. They have different colors. I just so happen to have this one. Initially, I was going to use this, but I found something that I like better at Hobby Lobby. I found this large roll, and it was $9.99. But luckily, Hobby Lobby has sales, and it was on sale for 50% off, so I got it for $5. So what I'm going to do is just Flip this over and I'm going to start wrapping from the back just like this. So what I'm going to do is take my hot glue and put it right on here. So now I'm just going to pull this pull it tight like so but before I do that I'm going to add some more hot glue and just pull this tight so now I'm going to pull this and I can see where I need to cut it put some more hot glue right on top And pull it tight. Okay, so now you come in and just cut off the excess. I glued it down. Now, if you're not sure about doing it that way, then go ahead and, and glue it down before you cut off the excess. Be careful, do not cut your wire. Like that. So I'm going to do this side off camera and then come back. Okay, so now I'm done with my first strip. So now I'm going to come across the other way. What I'm going to end up doing is doubling up on this. If I didn't want to double up, then I would just start here, then glue it and cut. But because I'm going to double up, I'm going to go all the way across. Now you don't have to touch it, you can just pull down on it and it'll stick to the glue. When the glue cools off, you can just go ahead and pat it down like that. Again, pull it tight. Okay, so now I'm done adding this piece on and it's double here, here, and here. So what I need to do to make it match is put extra pieces on these sides as well. So all I need to do is line this up here, glue it down, just like before and cut off the excess.
Now you just carefully trim the top. And remember, do not cut your wire. I just need to add one more piece to the side. So I'll do that off camera, then come back and move on to the next step. Okay, here's what my box looks like after I wrapped it twice. Again, you can do one layer if you want to, but I wanted mine to have two layers of the wrap. So the next thing I want to do is cut some bling. I want my boxes to look a little bit different than the ones that I've seen on display. So I'm gonna take some long strips of bling and um, just come off a roll from totallydazzled.com. She has some really large rolls of bling at a very good price. If you're going to be crafting, I suggest go over to her website and purchase some of her bling. She also has gold and rose gold. Okay? So what I'm going to do is just trail my box with the bling. And here I have some that I cut ahead of time. Okay guys, so just like before, I went ahead and put the ribbon on top. I don't have the little center piece because I'm going to do something different. Here I have some Christmas decorations. It slides into the tree. And I thought it would be really cute if I put it right inside here. And I am going to slide this right inside right under this ball. I have this ornament and I'm going to glue it right in the center of the bow. Okay, so now I'm going to fluff the bow out, turn the lights on, put it on display, and let you guys see what it looks like. And here's my new beautiful glam light-up gift box made from two cooling racks from Dollar Tree. And I think it's absolutely stunning. And I absolutely love everything about it. From the wrap that I used to wrap the box, to the ribbon, on down to the ornament. Of course, I had to make a second one. But this time around, I used some gold ribbon and decorated the box with some star-shaped sticker decals that I picked up from Dollar Tree. Again, I would like to shout out Rebecca from Rebecca Stew and the Crew, and I'll link her channel below. Thank you for sharing your cooling rack idea with us. It made my life a whole lot easier. <laughs> Okay, everyone, this concludes my DIY. I hope that you all enjoyed it, and if you did, please leave me a thumbs up. Don't forget to comment, share, and subscribe if you haven't already. Okay, everyone, I'll see you in the next one. Thanks so much for watching.